As you recall in an earlier training video, anytime you see a paperclip next to your email message, that means there's one or more attachments to it. It doesn't tell you how many or what type of attachments. To find out, double click to open it up. You can see up here we got a total of five. We have one document, two Excel workbooks, an image, and a business card. And to be able to preview those attachments, you can do it one of many ways. You can either click on the attachment or click on the drop down arrow, you get a shortcut menu, the least of which you can preview, or you can right click on it to click on preview, but for me it's just easier to click on it. To wipe out the message so I can get a preview of what I'm about to open if I choose to open it. And then up on the ribbon, you get the related contextual attachments tab that allows you to go back to the message to see what the sender wrote to you originally, or click on back to message either way, click on back and we're back to it. Click on the two dudes here. Hey, whoa, intense fun. And so from here, again, besides showing the message again, you can copy what you have here, select all, save all attachments, or just do a save as for that attachment, remove it, quick print or open. And of course, you can click on the drop down arrow and get the same options here. So if you want to save your attachments, like the picture to your desktop, go ahead and click on save as, opens up the window. It's going to be a JPEG format. Over in the navigation pane, select desktop, click on save, and it's saved to the desktop. How do you know? Well, we can just go ahead and let's minimize that down to the taskbar, minimize that, look on the desktop, double click, there they are. Whoa, cool. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Select it, hit the delete key on the keyboard to say yes to move it to the recycle bin, and let's restore my message. And in fact, if you want to restore it down, and you can see your desktop here, you can click and drag and that works. And you see when I click and drag, in fact, let me select the document and control click the business card. So to select it non-linearly, or if I want to select from the document over to the revenue chart, select that, hold down the shift key and click and it selects everything in between. And then click and drag. And you can see when I drag it, my pointer has a fuzzy box below it and then it has a plus sign. That plus sign means it's copying and let go and it copies. Well, there we go. It's up there, and the other two are down below. I'm going to go ahead and hit the delete key on the keyboard and get rid of those three, plus this guy, delete them, and move them over to the recycle bin and restore it. I like just right-clicking on here and seeing the options. You can, like I say, do it up here as well. And let's do save all attachments. And if you got tons of them, that might be a lot easier than doing it one at a time or clicking and dragging, especially if it really fills up the window here. So here, you can click OK, and it'll save them all. Or if you want to be more particular, you can go ahead and click on one, and hold down the Control key and click on another. Or you can do block selection. Select one, hold down the Shift key, and click on second to the last. Selects everything in between. Or you can click on one, hold down the Shift key, select the last one, click OK. And it says, OK, where do you want to dump all these? The default's the desktop. And I can go ahead and click OK, or I can create a new folder and dump it into the folder so it's not a mess on my desktop. Click OK and oh boy. Let's minimize that and oh it's a mess. Oh there's my contact. Double click and I can take a gander here. Well that's Barney 5. Great. Let's go ahead and close out of here and I'm just going to hold down the control key and click all of these and hit the delete key and move them over to the trash bin and restore the message. And let's take a look at the picture here again. Let's right click on it and we get the option to open it. Opens right up. Don't have to preview it or save it to my desktop to be able to double click to open it up there. I can just open it up from right here or you can double click really fast. It does the same thing. And finally, how about if we right click and we do a copy? So it copies it to the clipboard. If I restore Outlook, Come up here, click on New Email Message, come down below in the body of the message and right click and do Paste. Pasted that image that I copied from the email message over as an attachment into a new email message. Great! Let's go ahead and close out and not save that. And then finally, I don't know about you, but if you get a bunch of like large size files, like pictures, they can be pretty huge if they want to give you the highest quality, or better yet, videos. Maybe, let's say, 100 megabytes. That gets pretty huge. Don't want that sitting in my folder. So I could save that to the desktop. And then once I save it to the desktop and I have that there, then I can go ahead and remove it from my email by right-clicking and saying Remove Attachment. 
Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. And it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.